Hi everybody, so today this video is going to be on my hair care and stuff that I generally use on my hair. I'm aware that at the moment my hair doesn't look that great, it's in need of dyeing and stuff like that. So yeah, I've just got all the things that I use on my hair at like different times, like depending on what my hair's doing. Um, so I'm just going to show them to you and what I use them for, etc, etc. So I'm going to start off with the first step that I pretty much have to do, which is dye my hair bleach it basically um, and I use this which is the Be Blonde Cream Peroxide and you get, I haven't got any of the like powder but you mix them two together and then you apply it to your hair, bleach your hair. Um, I usually don't use the 40 volume one, I think it's the 30 volume one I usually use. This one's for dark hair really, must have picked up the wrong one but yeah this is the dye that I use. My hair dye is usually always um, Directions by La Riche. Um This one is Pillar Box Red that I've got on at the minute um, but I've used God knows how many different colours of these in my time so you know that's that. Um, for generally washing my hair I use the Macadamia Rejuvenating Shampoo um, this I use because it is genuinely a very very good product. Um, it's sulfate free and it's colour safe, it even says it on there. Um, and it's paraben free as well. And yeah this is, it's really weird because it doesn't feel like a conditioner when you put it on your hair because it's like really really runny. Um, but like once you put it on you can feel it working and you know but you do need to use a conditioner with it and I also use the Macadamia Moisturising Rinse um, which I think is a bit misleading because it should say conditioner on it because I was confused when I first got it, I was like what do I do with it until I read the instructions obviously but you know this is the Moisturising Rinse, this is a bit thicker um, all these products smell gorgeous as well mm. so yeah this works really really well it's like you put it on your hair and it's like instantly just oh so nice so I apply this and then I use my macadamia comb to comb it through my hair just so that it gets like you know spread out all over and every bit of my hair gets nourished so I use that um, then every now and then I will use this which is the macadamia deep treatment uh, you're supposed to use this once a week and this is basically just, as it says, it's a deep treatment. Um, it looks like that. I've used pretty much all of this. And it smells absolutely beautiful. Like your hair, when you've finished it just... Oh. And this is especially good as well. It's I, I regularly use this, it is so nice. So it's a reconstructor, so it makes your hair feel absolutely gorgeous. And especially if you're using like hair dye in your hair quite often, I think that's quite some something really nice to have because it is colour safe, etc, etc. And yeah, since I've been using the macadamia products, I haven't found that my hair has been... like Usually I'd get colour safe shampoo and it'd like wash out my colour really, really quickly. The macadamia is keeping it in a lot longer than it was. Um, so that's good for that. Um, and there's also the nourishing oil treatment as well, which is upstairs, which is the one thing that I forgot to bring down. Um, but yeah, that's just an oil that you can put on your hair, like if it's um, damp, just to give it a bit of extra nourishment, or you can, you know, just straighten out your ends with it, all that stuff. So you can use that for that. But there is an alternative, which is this, which is the healing oil spray. This you can use as just like a shine spray or you can use it as you know an oil treatment sort of flatten out any stray, any, uh, stray hairs or stuff like that. It's just a little spray thing and this is lighter than the oil um, on its own. So there is also the leave-in cream. This is a pump thing and basically once you've washed your hair you can apply some of this to keep sort of a more nourished look to your hair. Um, I haven't actually used this that much, I've just recently started using it and it's actually quite nice. Um, I was like of the opinion of like being like, because I got this in a set with the a couple of other things and I was a bit like, 
I don't really want, I, I've got this phobia of like leaving creams thinking that they're going to make my hair really really greasy. Um, but this doesn't, so that's really good. Again, you know, I'm not being sponsored by Macadamia for this review by the way, because I know there's a lot of macadamia in here, but I do genuinely like it. I haven't ever been contacted by macadamia. You know, I'm not being paid to say any of this. So there you go. I'm just throwing that out there. Um, then if it's been a while since I've like colored my hair or like bleached it or something, my hair can get really, really dry, especially at the ends. You get the split ends, the horrible split ends. And when that happens, I literally use these two um, just like once. It's the John Frieda Full Repair Full Body Structuring Shampoo for damage from heat and colour. So, you know, this helps sort of tame your hair a little bit. And then you've got the deep conditioner. So when my hair is getting to that stage, I will literally use these like once or twice in a week. And it pretty much just sorts out the problem completely. And then I also have this as well if you've got split ends at any point and you're like waiting to go get your hair cut but you just can't get there, whatever. Um, this is the Perfect Ends Deep Infusion. And yeah, this is just like a little serum thing. You need to be pretty careful with it to not put on too much because I have before and it looks just makes your ends look a little bit greasy. But if you get the right amount, it does just straighten out all your ends and... Yeah, you use this when your hair is wet and yeah, it's really good. Then um, we get onto other sort of styling products. Um, then I use this when my hair is wet as well, which is the Bumble and Bumble Thickening Spray. Um, it says it's a hairspray, but it's not really. Um, I put this on my hair when it's wet just because it's it's sort of like I think Sammy do something that's similar to this um, so yeah this is really nice it gives your hair a little bit more body than what it usually has I mean my hair usually without this it is just literally just flat to my head and you know it just gives you a little bit of oomph to your hair I think um, yeah, I put it on, but I don't ever like really blow dry my hair because I think it damages it quite a bit. Um, so I just leave it in and, well, I put it in and then I comb it through again with this and yeah, it just gives you that extra bit of oomph. And then finally, the hairspray that I use is this one, which is the Pantene Volume and Body Hairspray. Um, it gives the number five ultra strong hold. This is the one for fine hair because my hair is quite fine. Um, but this, I wouldn't go to another um, hairspray, I don't think, after this one. Uh, I went through like a phase of using the Freeze Hold hairspray by Tresemme. And that was really amazing, but it really, really dried out your hair. Like, it made your hair dull. Um, especially if you've got these directions colours in, I think it's easy for products to make your hair look really really dull but this is just like it's shiny it gives you the hold that you want it says creates your style with healthy looking volume all day long it helps protect your volume style against humidity all day long and it brushes out easily that's true brushes out in no time um, that's another thing with the Tresemme one if you tried to brush it out it sort of made your hair look a bit flaky like you got like flakes in your hair and that wasn't really good this it just genuinely just brushes out straight away and you are done so that's all all good if you ask me um so yeah that is all the products that i use on my hair so that is it thank you for watching i'll see you all again very soon adios